Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Love what you drive. Today we have my friend Rick. What up? <laughs> He's you gonna tell us everything about his car. Uh, really quickly, how we met was uh, is that CVS or Walmart? CVS. Yeah. CVS. I pull up and I see his car, and I'm like, Hey, I gotta get a, I gotta get chatting with this guy. And I saw him in the car. I came up. We, I don't know. What did you think when I ran up to you? Well, you said, hey, I like the car. So that's cool, man. Then you knew everything about it. Yeah. You're like a Lincoln guy. So yeah. to talk to you. <laughs> so um, I said, I want to make a video. We've been texting back and forth. It was raining. It's still kind of raining. And uh, But anyways, here we are. We're going to make this quick, short, and sweet. And get to the point. All right, Rick. Tell us who you are, what you do, and everything about this awesome Lincoln. All right, well, my name is Rick Shrek. People call me Rick and Mortis. I own House of a Thousand Tattoos in Middlesex Borough been tattooing for 30 years. I own the shop here for the last 20. And this is basically my work car. It goes back and forth to work. Uh, this car has gotten us a lot of attention over the years. It's pretty funny. We ended up in the New York Post. Uh, oh, the guy wow. asked me, he said, he said, this is your everyday car? And I said, yeah. He said, can I interview you? And they showed up in my house with cameras and everything. It was the <laughs> dude who created Jersey Shore, right. the TV show, Anthony Beltempo. Wow. So he came and uh, interviewed us and checked out the hearse. And ever since then, it's just been like a whirlwind of craziness, man. We, you know, we had our own reality show on Amazon, on Amazon Prime. Yeah. Uh, called House of Shrek. It's spelled H A U S. Yeah, this is, is German. the sign right here, right? Yep, that's it. Right there, House and, of Shrek. And it is my real last name. People always ask if it's made up. It's it's German. It means to terrify people. It is my <laughs> last name. So the cartoon Shrek is really <laughs> yeah to terrify right. people, right? Mm hmm. Okay, so he's a tattoo artist. He's local here, been doing tattoos. And um, like you said, this Lincoln really got him some attention like it is now. Uh, what year is this? It's 89. This uh, is a Lincoln Town Car. I got it from my buddy Bill. I was actually tattooing him. I've been tattooing him for years. And uh, he's had this car. And I always was like, a blue hearse, dude? You know, I always thought it was funky that it was blue. Yeah. But, uh, you know, he was going through a uh, divorce and moving. And he, you know, he's like, you want to buy the thing? So jumped on it. Yeah. It's okay. the best running car I got. It's, it, <laughs> it actually runs very well. Yeah, this is a really nice uh, condition, like the whole grill. And so it's a 89. And you weren't sure how many miles or what do we got on the odometer there? Uh, I can take a peek. Yeah, let's take a look. Uh, we like to nerd out on the specs <laughs> and the mileage and the <laughs> tire size and all this and that. <laughs> What does it say there? Yeah, so when I saw it, I was like, man, I got to get a... We love funky. We like all kinds of cars on the channel. 7688. 7688. 176? No, 76. 76,000 yeah. 76, miles. Okay, nice. Usually when you find the, the old, you know, repurposed uh, coaches, they, they're usually very low mileage. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. How long have you had this? Uh, I, I'm guessing around eight to ten years. I'm not sure. Eight to ten years. Yeah. And you've been driving it for that long? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It is in uh, really good condition for uh, an '89. These are the stock wheels. Yeah. Stock wheels running 215, 70 R15s. The wire, the wire spokes. Do you know the color or the the code or the name of the color? No, I don't. Like the factory, they have some funky names. Yeah. Something Seabreeze Blue or something. Right. <laughs> the, the first day we had this, I let Kate drive, my wife drive it, Kate, and uh, she cut a turn too hard. She's not used to hubcaps. Yeah. So this one went flying on the Route 1, and it was mangled. <laughs> so I went on eBay, and there was a guy that had like, and he had like 12 of these. Oh, I wow. bought all of them. So I'm like, we'll just keep losing them. I'll just keep popping them back you on. You bought all 12? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was waiting for you to yeah. find them. But he was another, he was a Lincoln click. Yeah. He had a ton of Lincolns. Okay, so under the mirrors, there's these, uh, what are those? The thermometer. Uh, it's a there. thermometer. Yeah. Isn't that okay. cool? Does it work? Yeah. Okay, so you have to be inside to get a good reading of it. It lights it, up. It's, and light, it lights mm -hmm. up. Everything yeah. works on this car. Yep. Okay, and the mirror says heated. Were these heated back then? Apparently. Oh, yes. <laughs> Probably when you turn defrost on, it goes on. It works. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, what have you done to this car ever since you had it? Uh, the only thing I did was, you know, when I first got this, I mean, this is 
unfortunate. This has only happened like the last year or so. Yeah. And I'm kind of fighting it with glue and pins in there, but there's nothing you can do with the vinyl. Once it goes, it goes. Yeah. My buddy had his come off and he just, he redid the whole roof. He has like, a, uh, it's a hard top now and it's kind of squared off. It looks really cool, but his is a 70. Oh, wow. That's yeah. amazing. So the back of this was all open, almost like a, the back of a pickup truck, you know, or El Camino. Uh, the dude uh, was putting speakers in here. So I was like, what can I do with it? And because I'm the Ouija board guy, I made the largest Ouija board in the world. I'm in uh, Ripley's, believe it or not. Okay, so you got the, is that got a world record? Well, it's a world record for Ripley's. Uh, there's a whole battle between Guinness and Ripley's uh, right now. Because uh, Ripley's owns Guinness. Yeah. But uh, Guinness wanted to charge me to, for them to come and measure oh, really? it. And Ripley's didn't. So I went with uh, Ripley's. Yeah. They want their money, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've always been the Ouija board guy. So, uh, I, you know, I'm a big collector of them. I've been making them since 2004. And I want to make the first ever uh, Hearst Ouija board. So, okay. you know, this thing pulls out. The legs come down. We have yeah. the chairs over there. And you could, you could drive this to a cemetery and pull it out and Do try to make it happen. We're in a Hearst club, uh, the Moton Professional Car Club in Moton, PA. Yeah. And um, they always hold their um, get-togethers in this big cemetery uh, that was in the movie Rocky. What's the oh. name of that cemetery, Kate? Lauren Hill, that's it, right? Lauren Hill. So uh, that's, if you go there, they still have the props from uh, Paulie and Adrian from the Rocky movies. They have the prop uh, headstones there. Oh. But uh, the guys meet there, it's about 30 coaches in, in total, uh, flower cars, limos, all that. And the cemetery is like a big circle. Yeah. So all the cars make this big giant circle around the cemetery. And then I pull that out, and I'm like, all right, I'm in a circle of funeral cars <laughs> in a cemetery, and I still can't get this damn Ouija board to work. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Uh, would, you, would you say people that own hearses are uh, an interesting bunch? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they, they are. They, you know, they're pretty pretty normal. It's the kind of person you'd see it in the Halloween store. They love yeah. Halloween and Hot Topic and Heavy Metal. You know, it just seems to be the same type of people we are. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I love seeing old cars like this, man. The old It's just like a, you know, I have a Suburban, so it's its like a, it's it's like a, a suburban, wagon. Yeah. A you know, a Lincoln wagon. Uh, what is your... Uh... Oh, this? Yeah, the plane. So I'm vice president of the Talking Board Historical Society, which is a 501c3 nonprofit dedicated to the preservation of Ouija board history. Wow. People, places, and things. So there's some history. When you got the car, was there uh, any of the memorabilia or... Any accessories from the funeral home in here or no? There was a casket in here. So there was a casket. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I didn't know how to beat around the bush. Yeah. It's, my, it's my living room couch now. Wow. We, we have it in my house. But uh, it was a uh, big uh, golden colored one, um, one of them uh, steel caskets. Okay. And it had a dent in it. So I asked my buddy Bill, I go, what's what's with the, the casket there? And he said uh, he knew a guy. It was on uh, Craigslist. And it was an auto body shop and they had a casket there. He's like, why do you got a casket in an auto body shop? Because there was a hearse delivering one, and it got in an accident. Oh, the hearse wow. was totaled out, but the casket still was kind of oh, cool looking. Interesting, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I got a car accident casket at home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's been through the war, huh? <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. And yeah, let's take a this, look inside. So normally this would have uh, the you know, the, the platform. It has all those rollers, and right. then there's pins that keep it from moving. Since that was all ripped out, uh, my buddy Bill, he was trying to m turn this into something where you put passengers. So he took a, a, ch a bench seat from an old Lincoln that's back there. Oh, wow. And I bolted cool. it to the bottom. So so he didn't have the seat before. No. It was just this whole, yeah. okay. Yeah. Man, when I got like a this, limo now. It's awesome, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Little leg space, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like the executive, whatever. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of room, man. I we we used to, when the kids were little, we used to fill this with beanbag chairs. Yeah. And everybody would just sit on the floor. Ford Lincoln. Right here. What, baby? Oh, yeah. Kate's, Kate's hair still has it's completely uh, intact. So Kate is uh, Rick's wife. She's actually over there. <laughs> She's uh, hiding by my car. But she has a hearse, too, and it's a 2000, I mean, 1998. 98 Lincoln hearse as well. Yep. If you um, if you guys, if you Google or, or you're on YouTube and you look up House of Shrek for our, our show, H-A-U-S of S-C-H-R-E-C-K, yeah. You'll see the trailer for a TV show. You see both hearses coming. Come yeah, I'll see through. if we can uh, maybe grab that clip sure. and stick it into this video. That'd be cool. And put all the information into the description. Be super Man, cool. that is a lot of room. And that's from an old Lincoln, you said? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I still got the Lincoln. 
Yeah, it's actually really clean in here. Thanks. Like the interior's not all ripped up. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's take a look in the front seat. Can we okay. look? Oh, that door doesn't open. Here's oh, it doesn't open. Yeah, the, uh, the little, you know, little cable that's attached. Yeah, it's snapped, and I haven't opened the door yet. Yeah, man, man, this front end is like flawless. I know, it's so nice, man. The paint, the chrome, the bump, like everything. Mm. I just love it. I love. I just oh, love man. that grill. It's so cool. It's such a nice straight lines. <laughs> so what got me into these whole Panther cars was an '89 Lincoln Town Car that I seen driving by, mm. a white one. And I'm like, man, I really love these. This was uh, two two years ago. Yeah. So for me, it was like love at first sight, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Hearst is even cooler than, you know. You know, uh, Hearst world, there's a, like a lot of division between the Lincoln and the Caddy people. Yeah. Is this you a know? functional light? Yeah. Yeah. That oh. one, the bulb went out in that one. But if you look on the other side. Yeah. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. It does work. <laughs> cool right oh man <laughs> <laughs> that is super cool uh this badge here it says ss victoria do you know what that is yeah that's the ss uh company that makes uh modifies these cars to make the hearses ah okay so it's uh, a company yeah do you SS. know where it was built or made um there was a there's there was a plaque a thing somewhere on it. Uh, over here oh, man. man we got this little yeah. rain drizzling oh okay ss coach in ohio because they got their badge. Mm -hmm. This is, this oh, one, this, this is also theirs. Company, yeah. 1989, June. 5,600 pounds. Sheesh. There's a tank. And then we got your Ford. Okay, that's cool stuff right there. So all the controls work here? Yep. All the power switches. So mm -hmm. we got seats, mirrors, front, rear, windows. Yeah. Okay. Not much rust, huh? No, not a whole lot. Yeah, like, I mean, I'm looking at the doors. That is a small steering wheel. <laughs> For a big car, that is... <laughs> I was not expecting that. Man. That is super cool. What can you tell us about the interior? Uh, don't know nothing about it at all. Nothing, huh? Okay, so we have 70,688 70, miles on this. And all the gauges, oh, the clock is working. Yeah, it's got the it's got the old school <laughs> clock in there. Oh man, that's it. <laughs> oh, let me get some glare. Yeah, love the, it. The clock is working. It's ticking away. Okay. So you did you install the Sony head unit? Oh no, that was in there. That was in there. Okay, yeah. perfect fit inside all the wood trim. Lincoln Town Car. Man. You know, they even removed the section here. There's a, uh, normally behind your, your seat, like in Kate's uh, coach, there's the window. Yeah. There, or there's usually just a, a window that doesn't even move. But that was all removed out of here. So uh, when you look up, like, see, these are remnants of where the, the thing oh, was. Yeah. And this here is where the wall went up to. Oh, yeah, it's like so, a yeah. divider to the, yep. oh, yeah, I see. It. Yeah, so that divider was all pulled out. Okay. Man, um, when you drive this thing, it's uh, is it hard to drive? No, no, no way. It's not that hard. It's no, I take wide turns. Not really. It's it's maybe an inch or two bigger than the hurt. Uh, my suburban. Oh, you know, it's just I'm so used to driving big SUVs. Big cars, you know? yeah. yeah. Super cool. All the lights, everything works. Yep. Man. Uh, how many miles per gallon do you think you get? I don't know. Honestly, <laughs> I wouldn't even know. Okay, what do you think miles per gallon? What's your guess? 300 for the tank. Oh, yeah, because she has she has the 98. Yeah. It has all the digital stuff. It okay. tells you how many miles to go. Yeah. Yeah, probably. I forgot you had that in your car. Yeah, yeah. So it had the digital gauges that on hers, a 98. This mm. one has everything analog and squared. That little clock there moving, that's nice. So that, yeah, we were, we were on fumes coming in. It was 39 bucks to fill the tank. This one? Yep. $39? Yeah, that's it. That's it? Yeah. To fill my car is like 60 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. Okay. 
Um, cool. Can we look under the hood? Sure. So this is a daily. They drive this uh, all the time. I see you. All the time. Yeah, I, you've probably seen it a bunch. I see you. Yeah, I see yeah. you driving. I see you at the shop over there. Yeah. Okay. Man. I'm just got the 5.0. So got the 5.0. Yep. Everything looks stock under here. You didn't have to do much maintenance. No, not just... really. Wow. It's just still, you know, I mean, relatively low on the mileage. 70,000. That's nothing. Yeah. For an 89. Everything. What is this? Is this a siren? Siren, yeah. Oh, siren for the funeral. Because yeah. the old ones, you, when you look at the older uh, coaches, they, they used to double as an ambulance. Like the oh. Ghostbusters one. Okay. And they all had sirens. So most of them have sirens, but I put one in there because I think it's cool. Oh, you put that in? Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> what are your plans with this car? Any day plans? Any no. mods you want to do? Anything? That... If if it continues to, to degrade and I, and I can't just flip a couple grand for the roof, yeah, I'm gonna. I'll probably Mad Max this thing out, which most people will be like, "Why are you gonna do that?" But if it starts getting real rusty and yeah, crappy, yeah. I'm just gonna make it look cool, like look like something that uh, Furiosa drove in a uh, Mad Max movie, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think we have one on the channel that was a Crown Vic. He pretty much he turboed it and yeah, Mad Max. So yeah, I'm trying to get another guy I met on Instagram. That's cool. And he has he had a really nice clean one, and then he just yep went wild with it. <laughs> Cool, man. Yeah, it's actually pretty clean under here for uh, that <laughs> year, and everything just does its job, huh? Yeah, nothing special. <laughs> Took to you because you own this cool thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when we see it, we're like, man, that's a cool Panther right there. <laughs> cool. Well, I think that's it. Unless yeah. you have anything else you wanted to add? No, come on, get tattooed. Oh yeah. And you can't tell, but it is raining. We've been talking in the rain. <laughs> 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 so we're just gonna shut these doors and call it a night um rick Good thank man. you so much for I your do. time you. we appreciate your uh, car <laughs> and uh maybe whenever you free up we'll get your wife's 98 first oh, yeah. whenever that'll uh, come about but other than that man this thing is a beauty it's clean Thanks. it's nice and rick is a really cool guy <laughs> i try thanks you guys uh <laughs> for tuning in we'll see you guys in the next one this rain is really coming down now. <laughs>